am so excited about, this is the second time I've originated a role and I have a song, so I'll be on the album. And I'm just, it's just like one of those little gifts from God in, in, it, it, after this, you know, throughout this entire career, I'm still doing movies, I'm still writing books, I'm still doing, you know, television things, but this sort of dropped in my lap and there was no way I was going to pass it up. Is it fun to strut around in this role? I'm oh my gosh. I love it. Are you kidding me? And you know what's so funny? My number, uh, what would Joe Perry do? I'm with all the guys and it feels like Roxy or it feels like Taxi or it feels like, you know, there's sort of this running theme of like being the, the girl with the guys. And I love my sisters. I have so many great girlfriends and I love women and, you know, I mean, but, but there's so, just something really fun about sort of noticing that there's that, you know, recurring theme in my life. Oh, it's my first love. I mean, I was a little kid in Chicago, and this is all I thought I'd ever do. Then kind of got, got sidetracked, opportunities came up, so I took them. But this is my first love by far, because I love, I love being in present time. I love that you don't have to worry about, oh, God, is it a bad angle? Is it a this? Is it, is it a that? Oh, I'm too, my energy's too much for the camera. Oh, it's a close-up, you know, that kind of thing. Or, oh, my gosh, my best performance was on the cutting room floor. Why didn't they use that take? Oh, the light was bad in it. It's like, ah, you know, every night you can calibrate your performance to be a little bit different depending on what the audience is responding to. So it's like having another person on stage. The only sad thing is it's gone forever. So you might feel like, oh, I had a great night, but it's still here. <laughs>